Good morning traders. This is a view of my new trading room and it's a little sparse, but it's looking okay so far. Could do with a little carpet down there. I've got my favorite show on there, Trader TV Live, which I'm just watching at the moment. I want to have a look at the charts quickly and show you what I'm looking at today. So we've got NASDAQ and S&P just at these high levels. And I point this out on videos and on Twitter before. And these are the levels that I'm looking to sell into. NASDAQ's actually just gone above that resistance level, but slightly toppish on the four hour chart that looks quite hopeful. And S&P the same sort of thing, right at that resistance level. We've got a Williams fractal on there at the top, but we negated that at the bottom and we made a slightly higher high. But look at that wick high a couple of days ago but we haven't seen the same on NASDAQ. I'm watching Nvidia too. Look at that wick high yesterday. That was a really important reversal candle, but it could go higher. And we've got Apple and Microsoft all looking quite similar. AMD, we've been selling for a while now, but it's just creeping higher. So we're not in that short anymore. I wanted to point out a couple of interesting things here. Bitcoin, we've just taken a short on Bitcoin. It's looking really weak. We've got a good target below us, down at around 28,000. We're going to see how that goes. And we've got our stops quite tight on there. And then if I can just squeeze past my chair, we've got NYMEX, the Henry Hub price, the daily chart, just making a new high coming up towards that 200 day moving average. And then if we look at the four hour chart on my broker, same sort of thing, just peaking above that high there above $2.60, but coming up against the 50 period moving average on the four hour chart. And on the day chart on NYMEX, you can see the 20 day moving average just above us there. So we added a new long position down there where the green arrow is. So we've got one long position from there, the red line. And now we've got a new one here from $2.51, just on that candle there, that inverse hammer candle after this beautiful reverse pattern, which I pointed out on Twitter, if you're watching that. So that's the update today. So we're still short on the yen pairs and the euro. And that's the update from my new trading room, which really needs a carpet or something to make it a little bit more cozy. So whilst you're here, why not subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to be covering natural gas again a little bit later on. Let's see how this rally goes. Looking forward to that. Take care.